Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to take a look at a very interesting topic. I'm going to show you how you can increase the effective dividend yield on your favorite dividend stocks. And you can increase it by as much as 100%. So you can actually double the dividend yield on your favorite stock. Now, this is not something where I'm going to uh, tell you to use other strategies like covered calls or something. We are going to talk only about the dividend. So the dividend yield as it is, if it's 3%, how you how can you make that yield four percent five percent we'll take a look at that so a quick preview as to what all we will cover today we'll take a very quick look within a minute or two we'll try to understand what is the dividend yield and this is just going to be a quick definition so that all of us are on the same page with regards to the definition of the dividend yield the second thing that we'll see is the core uh, content of the video which is basically the process that you can use to increase the dividend yield by as much as 100% and maybe even more than that so and this is going to be on your favorite stocks and we're not just going to look at one example so it's not going to be an outlier or some exception that I'm going to show you I'm going to show you more than 65 examples where the dividend yield can be increased just by following the process that I'm going to describe so stay tuned till the end and hopefully this video is going to be useful and you will like it before we proceed, a quick look at the disclaimer, which basically states that any information that I'm giving here is only for entertainment purposes. It is not any kind of trading or investment advice. So the first thing, let's take a quick recap of what the dividend yield is all about. Now, I have a complete uh, video series, in fact, a playlist on dividend uh, investing. So go take a look at that. It has some of very detailed videos. So if you want information on the overall process or you want to understand uh, things like payout ratio and other things you can basically watch those videos but here we are going to quickly cover what is the dividend yield so a company which is uh, trading on the stock market it generates a certain amount of income right so a portion of that income the company may decide that it wants to give back to its shareholders so a company decides to pay out a certain dollar amount every single year in the form of dividends those are called dividends the actual payment in dollars which is paid out is called the dollar amount or the dollar dividend paid in a year and if you divide that by the stock price at which the stock is trading we basically get a percentage which is the dividend yield so let's say there is a stock trading at 200 dollars and they have a dividend yield of four percent that means that every year that company pays out eight dollars uh, of return to each of its shareholders for every share they own so if you own 10 shares then you're getting eight dollars per share so that means you'll be getting 80 dollars in dividends so dividend yield is nothing it's the return that you can expect to receive for the investment that you make so you've invested 200 dollars you're getting eight dollars in a year in the form of dividends and percentage wise eight as a percentage of 200 is four percent so that is basically your dividend yield so to understand this concept better let's take a look at a quick example so here you can see uh, details of abvi and here you can see that the dividend yield is 3.94 percent now this is something which is uh, available on various websites so you don't have to search for this information you can basically just google this information and you'll be able to get this information on multiple websites so just a quick look at the calculation abvi at this time when i took this screenshot was trading at 133.5 dollars the dividend payout if you see uh, for the last four quarters which is basically one year is five dollars and 31 cents and so if you divide five dollars and 31 cents which is the dollar amount being paid out as dividend by the stock price which is 133.50 and take it as a percentage it comes to 3.97 percent so this is very close to the dividend yield which is available online as 3.94 percent because the stock price keeps uh, varying by a certain amount even after us so that's the difference but this is more or less how you calculate the dividend yield it's nothing but the dollar payout uh, dividend payout given by a company in a complete year represented as a percentage of the overall stock price so i just wanted to get this definition out very quickly so that everybody is on the same page and people who are new to dividend investing they basically have some idea about what the yield is now let's see how we can increase the dividend yield to double its value so let's head over to our spreadsheet and actually see the process in action how we can increase the dividend yield by 10 percent 20 percent 50 percent and maybe even 100 percent in some cases so here is an excel sheet which i have created uh, basically this is a, a google document so if you want i can give you access uh, to this particular sheet so basically this has two tabs 
the first tab here is uh, which I'm showing right now is real time data. So this will update every time you open the sheet because it pulls the latest dividend rates uh, and it basically displays them here. Uh, now because these things keep changing so I also took a snapshot of 24th December which I updated in this sheet but we'll take a look at it later. For now let's take at the real time data and you can see here that uh, I'll explain one row what data is contained here and so the same will apply to all the other stocks that are listed here and you can see here that we have more than 65 stocks which are listed here and these are basically stocks which are well known for their dividends. So a lot of people invest in these stocks for dividend investing. If you try to uh, basically look up articles about the top 10 dividend stocks or the good dividend stocks to invest in, in the US markets, you'll basically come across these names very, very often. So our objectives here is to understand how to increase the effective dividend yield uh, of your favorite stocks by as much as 100%. And that is basically, uh, I've come up with this list. So these are mostly the favorite stocks that people usually have when it comes to dividend investing. So for Apple, let's understand the first column here, A. A basically gives the symbol, which is Apple. And this column B basically represents its dividend yield. So right now, Apple has a dividend yield of 0.5%. And Apple is currently trading at $177.57. So if you take 0.5% of 177.57 this basically comes out to uh, 89 cents of payout so for every share if you hold one share of apple you can basically expect 89 cents being paid out to you every single year now this is fairly less the dividend yield is just 0.5 percent but again apple being apple is one of the favorite uh, stocks with for people who are interested in dividend investing so same thing basically applies to all the other rows so let, we, we already saw AbbVie, then you can take up any of these symbols. Basically, these are the dividend yields and these are the dollar payouts that you can expect to receive based on the dividend yield and the current stock price. So these dividend yields, how are they decided? That's the first thing to understand. How much dividend is to be paid out is actually decided by the uh, management of a company. So what works in our favor is that if you select good companies, uh, companies which form part of clubs like the dividend aristocrats or the dividend kings basically when companies start paying out dividends uh, they do not want to decrease their dividends or they do not want to be inconsistent with the dividend payouts because what that indicates is that the company is having some kind of trouble right so good companies will usually try to maintain the same dividends and it's not that they will forcefully take loans and uh, do different kind of harmful practices to the business and then pay out those dividends. But they will have low payout ratios and they will try to maintain those dividends irrespective of the uh, fluctuations in the market conditions. Like if there is a financial crisis or if there is a bubble or if there is a pandemic, these companies usually have enough surplus to make sure that they can continuously pay out their dividends. That is why dividend investing is very, very popular because even when your stock prices go down by 30 40 percent if you're invested in good companies they will still continue to pay out the same dividends that they were paying earlier and this is the key concept that we're going to use in order to increase the dividend yields on our favorite stocks now let me just zoom out of the screen so that we can see some of the other columns as well so now if you really see the screen here what you will understand is that whatever is highlighted in orange here is the information I already explained to you. But let's key in one another info, key information, which is that what is the 52 week low on this particular stock? So if you look at Apple, right, the current dividend yield is 0.5% because it's trading at $177.57. But within the last one year, Apple was trading at a lowest price of $116.21. Okay, so let's say that instead of buying Apple shares today, you actually bought Apple shares at this price. Okay, Apple, as I said just uh, a minute back, that these companies, which are good dividend companies, they do not decrease their dividends with minor fluctuations in the market. So even though the price of Apple has gone down to $116.21, but if you go and check their dividend history, 
you will find that there was no decrease in the dividend payout no dividends were missed out why because apple has tons of surplus cash apple is such a well managed company the dividend payout ratio is so low that they don't have to struggle to pay out the dividends just because the market conditions have been uh, not ideal in the last 6 months or last 1 year or last 2 years okay so that is the kind of company that first of all we need to invest the second thing is let's say if you bought at 116 dollars and 21 cents you would still receive the same 89 cents of premium but with the same dollar payout and if you buy the stock at 116.21 dollars then your dividend yield becomes 70.76% right so you can do the calculation you receive the dividend of 0.89 but now your uh, denominator that is the stock price is 116.21 so if you take 0.89 as a percentage of 116.21 it comes out to 0.76% so our earlier dividend yield was 0.5% if we bought at the current stock price of 177 dollars but if we buy at the 52 week low then our dividend yield is 76 cents which basically means the percentage dividend yield has increased the percentage increase is 52% right so what i'm saying is the dollar payout is not something which we control that is going to be decided by the management of the company but the price at which we purchase the stock is something that we can control most people make the mistake of mistake of buying at the highs because of which it's not just that the growth of the stock uh, doesn't happen for them because the stock may already be overpriced but their dividend yields are also low why because you are buying at a higher price then whatever dollar payouts you get they will be lesser as compared to when taken as a percentage of the stock price if you can get the same stock at half the price your dividend yield automatically becomes double so the example that i had given initially when we started this discussion if you remember that i was quoting an example for a company which was trading at 200 dollars but paying out 8 dollars in dividends and we said that the dividend yield was 4% because 8 dollars as a percentage of 200 was 4% now imagine the stock crashed by 50% and you are able to buy this particular stock at 100 dollars if it's a good company it's still going to continue to pay out that dividend of $8 but when you receive a dividend of $8 for a stock that is priced at $100 your yield goes up to 8% now why because $8 as a percentage of 100 which is your buy price for the stock is now 8% so with this technique that means making sure that we are not buying shares at their highs but we are buying shares at their lows or near their lows you may not be able to buy at the exact lows because it's very difficult to identify the bottoms but then definitely we can make sure that we do not buy at the highs now if i am not wrong 177.57 is kind of close to the current highs so definitely do not get into positions at the highs get into positions at the lows which basically helps you satisfy two principles the first principle is to buy low and sell high because if you're buying at a high price that automatically means that you are working with an assumption that the stock is already at its highs and it's going to make a new high for you to make any money which may or may not happen so buy low and sell high and the second thing that will happen if you do that is that your dividend yields will automatically go up so let's take a look at another example let's take a look at abvi here so abvi's dividend yield right now currently which is the orange section is 3.84% and the current price is 135 dollars so it's changed slightly from the time when i prepared the deck uh, this 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 sheet that you're seeing is basically real time data so this would be the last traded price and 3.84% means that the dollar payout for abbi every single year is 5 dollars and 20 cents so what basically this is meaning is that abbi pays out a dividend of $5.20 every single year now this dollar payout is not going to change this dollar payout will remain consistent but what does change is the price of the stock now abvi has been trading at the lowest price of $101.81 so what if you bought shares of abvi at 101.81 you would still receive the $5.20 of dividend uh, dollar dividend payout but then the yield would be 5.11% why because for every 101.81 dollars that you invest you are receiving $5.20 so this in here is a 32% increase 
right so this particular sheet clearly shows that we can increase the effective dividend that we are receiving very very easily without too much of trouble uh, and now let's go to the data that i collected on 24th december this is the same sheet the same data but it's not real time this is the snapshot that i saw on 24th december and let me filter this from highest to lowest because i want to show you how much and this is actual data you can go and verify this data that this was the data that existed on uh, 24th december and you can see here that the maximum benefit is close to 94 percent which is almost doubling your dividend yield and the example is with lsi so the dividend yield was two percent and the stock was trading at 146.86 dollars which meant that the dollar payout was close to three dollars here but the low of the stock has been at 75 and a half dollars so if you bought at this price the dividend yield would have gone to almost four percent so this is what i meant to say that you can increase the effective dividend yield on your favorite stocks by as much as 100 percent maybe even more than double because uh, in the last one year let's say there has been no significant crash right then these ratios are not going to be that good but if there has been a serious market crash and that some stock loses 60 70 percent value for some time but it's inherently a good uh, dividend stock then you can get those stocks for really cheap and the multiplier the effective dividend percentage increase multiplier will go on increasing so let's look at the other ones we have lsi we have irm we have pfe this is pfizer we have lois so some of and we have microsoft so in microsoft you can see the dividend yield is right now is 0.74 but you could have increased it to as much as 1.17 percent which would mean that your dividend yield would have been higher by almost 58 percent so how is this for dividend investing people who really want to get into dividend investing need to understand that these these percentage returns really really matter because i know dividend investing involves compounding and you keep on plowing back your money for a long time but the important concept is if you can improve the dividend yield from 0.5 percent to one percent that makes a real difference so let's look at some of the more uh, popular names apple we already saw then this is exxon mobil and exxon mobil you can see that the increase is 48 percent because exxon mobil right now is trading at 61 dollars but the low is close to 41 dollars so if you bought at 41 dollars your dividend yield would have gone up by 48 percent this particular list has a lot of names i'm just going to call out the popular stocks which are here um, this is energy transfer this is target this is procter and gamble mcdonald's we have abvi we have walgreens boot alliance and let's keep going through the list so i'm not coming up with stocks which are just uh, random picks to show that the, the 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 particular this particular sheet makes a lot of sense i'm showing you stocks which are really considered by dividend investors as the holy grail of dividend investing these stocks are extremely popular because they pay out very stable dividends these are very big stable companies and they have a huge amount of cash flow so everything there's a reason why these uh, stocks are considered as dividend kings or dividend, dividend aristocrats because for years together they have consistently paid out dividends and not just paid out dividends if you look at targets dividends they have consistently increased their dividends so these are some of the most famous dividend stocks and uh, this is OREALT and uh, you can keep uh, looking at this uh, list IBM AT&T this is AT&T so you can see that we have Johnson and Johnson and and we have all the uh, good stocks dividend paying stocks available here and what this list basically shows is that on the best of the best companies you can basically go ahead and purchase these stocks at the right price and if you do it at the right price which is not at the highs you can increase your dividend yield by as much as 100 percent so if you want let me know i will leave uh, basically i'll share this excel sheet which is a real time sheet with all of you if you want that let me know i'll share a link to this sheet so you can key in your favorite stocks because i mean you just have to key in your stock here on the real time sheet and it will automatically pull the data 
for your particular stock and it will show you the results that uh, if your stock if your favorite stock is not part of this list you just have to key in the symbol here and it will show you the percentage increase you would have been able to get in your dividends in case you invested at the right time so i have a complete video which talks about how to buy low and sell high you must watch that video because trading is very very simple and dividend investing can be much more beneficial it can give you much higher returns if you follow this concept so i hope this particular uh, video is useful to you and you would be able to use the concept that i have just explained to increase the dividend yields and uh, this is a live example which i took where we saw that you can almost double your dividends and with my experience i can tell you that if you get into stocks at the right time you can actually triple your dividend in some cases please leave your comments in case you want any other information around this topic from me and uh, if you like the video please like the video subscribe to the channel if you've not already done that and kindly share this video with your family and friends so that they too can benefit from this information as usual i'll catch you guys in the next video so thanks for your time